Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and this is kind of like a yarn chat, or maybe I should call it like a shopping trip, a shopping trip video. Um, so for today, um, I went shopping with Maddie. We went to Hobby Lobby, Ross, Five Below, and Ulta. So, oh, and Goodwill, and spent entirely way too much money. Um, Goodwill, nothing much to show you guys that you'll care. They had some Dr. Seuss books and his birthday's coming up and our school celebrates it for a week. So um, they actually had a whole lot of books. Somebody must have donated a bunch of brand new ones. So I bought a bunch of those. Like they were three bucks each and I bought $24. So like six, I think, or something. Um, then we went to Hobby Lobby. Now, I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video what I got at Hobby Lobby. I know it's vicious of me, but I'm going to because it's the prize that I purchased for the crochet along, the gnome along that I've been running this month. Uh, if you were interested in participating in that, I have uploaded four tutorials where I showed you or taught you how to make the gnome, the lovable Valentine's gnome. And um, I broke it up into four tutorials and you can crochet one or any gnome that you want to take a picture of it. And if you want to submit it, I have three different ways that you can submit your prize you can, or your gnome that you crocheted. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be Valentine's. It could be other colors. And there's some people who've made some very creative gnomes, um, but you could take a picture of it and post it in the Facebook group, Summer's Tips and Stitches or you can email me a picture of your gnome at summerstipsandstitches at gmail.com. Or the third way is you can post your picture of your gnome on Instagram with hashtag lovable valentines gnome. Um, and on the 14th, I'm gonna choose three winners and I have the prize all purchased for the three different winners. Okay, so that's exciting. Um, the other thing that I bought at Hobby Lobby, which I'll show you now, is just a sec here. Um, I made a blanket with some Bernat blanket yarn. I showed you guys, I hope, a while ago. Um, it was just simply a half double crochet baby blanket with this like cream Bernat blanket. But what I, um, okay, so here's the situation. I am not a fan of the Clover Big Hooks, and I'm going to show you them. I'm going to get this stuff out and show you. These are the normal Clover Amore hooks. I really like them. They're my second favorite to Tulip. They were my first favorite. And then somebody, I want to say Zelda or Z. Um, I'll put a link in the description to her YouTube videos, her channel. She was, it's like Zelda NJR3 was her YouTube channel. Um, she introduced me to tulips and I loved them from then on. But these were my very first ever favorite set and I bought the whole hook set and I loved them. Well, the, the thing that's sad is when you switch to um, six and a half, they change to these, pla these white tops. I'm gonna show you a big one. See? I don't like this. I don't know why I'm so fussy. I prefer the metal tops. Now I have all the little ones. I have every single Clover or more. And then I have these, they have four. And then I have this giant one. Look at that one. Yeah, so I don't like them. So I was at Joanne's a couple weeks ago and I saw this hook. Now this is a Susan Bates Bamboo Ergonomic. Um, typically, I don't like a real thin hook. I like to have, because I hold like um, a pencil. And so when I saw this hook, I was like, hmm, it's a pretty decent sized handle, pretty decent sized. And I made a blanket in one afternoon with this Burnett and with this uh, hook, and I was like, I love it. So then I decided, you know what? I'm going to go and buy all of their bamboo hooks, the bigger ones. So um, at first I saw, I got a Hirschner's catalog, 
and I was going to order them from Hershner's because they're cheaper than on Amazon. But whenever I go into Hershner's, I'm tempted into buying yarn. And so then I was like, whatever. Well, today I was at with my daughter at Hobby Lobby trying to find the things that I'm going to put into the to buy for my um, prize. And I saw they had some of these hooks. I thought, oh, well, I'll buy what they have. So this one is a 10 or an N. It's pink. It's got the bamboo handle. Um, unfortunately, I can't take this off right away because um, it's sticky underneath, which means I have to go upstairs and use some nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol to get the stickiness out. I wasn't going to crochet with it sticky. I just made this little switch swatch here. I just, I love this stuff. Okay, so when I was there, the Hobby Lobby I was at only had a few of these. They had, this one was $4.99. This one is a 10 millimeter. Is that the same? Well, it looks like it might be, I might have bought the same. Yeah, 10 millimeter. So they have a pink one and a green one. Oh, but this is the Yarnology version. Do you see that? Well, now I got two. And I have, I got this one. This is an L, eight millimeter. And then I got this one. Okay. So I got J, K, L, no M, and an N. Well, I got two N's now. I might wait and return this. Because why do I need two ends? Why do I need all these hooks to begin with, right? Um, these were, the smaller ones were $3.99. The bigger one was four, focus, four forty nine. dollars Okay, so I bought these for myself. Then I went to Ross with Maddie, bought her some clothes. You know, sometimes I feel guilty when I do it. But I like spending time with her, and I remember the pressure of being in middle school and wanting to have cute clothes, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, it's not like I went and bought her super expensive clothes. There's, I think the most expensive was a $12.99. So I did. I bought her some stuff. Then we went to Five Below. And at Five Below, I found these pens. They were $5. And the thing I like about them is they're erasable. And I'm going to try it right now here with you guys. Because I had purchased for myself some erasable pens before. Um, I got them off of Amazon. I can put the link in the description to them. But they were kind of expensive. There was a lot of them in the pack. It was $20. And um, I want to see if these are... And they work well. They do. Um, I want to see if these work as well as the ones that I got from Amazon. If they don't, don't worry. I'm just going to put them in the prize bin at school. The girls at school won't care. They just want to write with pens. So I'm going to show you. Okay, there it is. I scribble scrabbled right there. Now I'm going to see that. It has like a, this little rubber top. It's not a real eraser like on a pencil. It's like rubber. And then as you can see, yep, yeah, it works. It rubs it all off. Do you see that? It's erasable pen. Now, the reason this is so amazing is teachers, sometimes you make mistakes. Or you go through and um, you're correcting something, and you're like, uh, I'm not going to put minus two. And they're like, well, maybe I'll only take one point off. Or if you accidentally count up the points wrong, and then you just erase it, and you don't have to scribble or white out. So I'm actually pretty happy. These work nice. Let's see what the other three colors look like. Okay, obviously black. I'm not going to show you that. We all know what black looks like, right? There is the green. And oh, the pink is kind of light. You see that? That's very hard to see. Oh, there we go. I got a little, eh. The pink is debatable. To be honest now, this is a situation. The black will work well. That means three pens for $4 because the pink is kind of too light to correct with. It erases really well. So that means I'll keep the pens. I'll put this one in the prize bin for the girls. They'll like it even more. Okay, so 
Then I also bought, I'm gonna to put together a little prize packet, not a prize, but like a thinking of you gift for my sister Holly. She has that YouTube channel, 10 Ducks and a Dog, that sometimes I talk about. So I'm going to send her this journal. She's a writer. One of her YouTube video things she does is she tells you a little bit about her, a story. It's like story time Tuesday or something. So I thought I would get her this notebook and send it over. And um, what else did I get for her? Oh, no. When she was a little girl, she loved wolves. So I got her this wolf sticker. This is one of those decal type ones that you can put on water bottles, cell phones, iPads, phone, cameras, or whatever. I don't know. And then I got her this one. Focus on the good. Yeah, I don't know if there's two of these in here or if this is the picture and that's the sticker. Anyway, so I got her that. Maybe I'll put the pink pen in here too for her. I don't know. And then I'm going to send her a hat I made because she's going out there in the morning with those ducks taking care of them. And I have not seen her always wearing a hat. So I'm gonna send her a hat. Okay, so the last thing I got at Five Below, all this stuff, of course, four pens for $5, these decals, I wanna say they were $1.25, and then this three-in-one lined dotted blank book, $5. Um, I spent way too much money, you guys, today. I don't know what I was thinking. This is the next thing that I bought, which I'm very excited. I didn't open this one. Luckily, there was one opened one on the shelf. Um, I'm pretty much sure that I don't need this, but I bought it. Um, this also was $5. And um, it says here, Weekly Organizer, Sticky Notes, 240 in three designs, Memo Pad, 70 Sheets, Weekly notepad, 70 sheets, one accordion envelope. So it opens like this. It has one of those magnet stickies. And this is what it has, guys. Um, this is what I liked about it. Do you see that? It has the days of the week up here. You could jot notes like, what are you going to do today? I bet my mom would love one of these too. And then reminders of what to do. And then with this week, you just pull it off. The nice thing about it is it's not dated right? So if you miss a week or two, that's okay. You can just plan for that week and then you have a week of vacation. You don't do anything. And then it has these little tiny sticky notes here and then a big square one. And then this one, and this must be their accordion. I'm trying to open it up on camera. I'm going to have to turn it around. I wonder what's in here. Nothing maybe. I don't know. Okay. So it's twisted around. You got to be careful to not the thing about these is you can't knot it up. Ugh. I realize I'm having a hard time opening this accordion. Well, oh, you know what? I'm going to get my crochet hook in here. Let me use this one in here. There we go. It was twisted. Okay, and then it's just a... Just a little pocket. You can organize your riffraff in there. Do you see that? They put some cardboard in it. At least if you wrap this. Oh, now look at that. It came off. Well, it was only $5. I think what I'm going to have to do is see that hole. I'm going to have to loop it through. Now, why did I need this? I did not. But it was cute. Um, as teacher, I love post-it notes. I love uh, stationery and pens. That's just one of the things I love. I don't know why. You guys, this is not working out. I'm going to have to take care of this off camera. I'm very sad that this came out. But it did. But overall, this, of course, was $5. I'll have to think of something. Maybe put some yarn on it. And the hot, you know, that's what I should do. But even this, this is white. This is paper. The yarn will be too thick. Oh, well. There it is. It's cute. I'm going to keep it on my desk at school or maybe down here in my crochet corner. I don't know. Okay. Um, now I'm going to show you one thing I made and one thing I'm making, and then I'm going to show you the prize I got. Okay. So I just made a hat. This is the hat I made. It's just a little blue hat. Probably going to give it to Flynn because it's too small for me. This is Ross's hat. 
um, you can go on to Ravelry and download his pattern. This is the pattern for for weight. The yarn that I'm using, that I use to make it, is Knitology Brooklyn Boy Knits by Knit Crate. And it said it was a worsted weight in the colorway Empire. 100% wash, super, superwash merino wool worsted weight. Now, it is, it's a little smaller, I think, than worsted weight because it knitted up kind of small. But, I mean, it's stretchy. When I put it on, I felt like it was too small for me. You see that? Well, I also have that little top knot. It's actually not bad, to be honest. I shouldn't. And I think it looks really good with my color blue eyes. But this is his pattern. The only thing that I do different is when I do my ribbed border, I do two and two. Whereas I think in his pattern, he recommends you doing three and one. Um, so I just whipped this up with some worsted weight. The reason I did this is because I bought some new cro new knitting needles, you guys. This is knitted. Um, I bought some new knitting needles, and I thought I wanted to try them out, see what I liked about them. Because up till now, when I make a hat, these knitted hats, this is what I usually use. I use my Addy size 8 16-inch circular um turbos and they're a short this is what i love about them this is what i love about these knitting needles is this needle part is short now it is kind of dull it's not very pointy and then it's obviously this little blue cord and then after a certain amount once i've done my decreasing i switch to this little tiny where did i where did i put you it is it's a little tiny knitter's pride it's a US 8, and it's a 10-inch. I know, is that shocking? And then after a while, I do this instead of the DPNs, because I just don't like DPNs. And this is how I close up my hat, using this little tiny knitting needle. It's very fidgety, and it's not, it takes a long time, but that's how I do it. So these are the knitting needles I typically use for making a hat. Oh, I was looking for these earrings. I was going to wear them to school the other day, and for some reason, I put them in this bag. You guys want to see them before I... Aren't they cute? Okay, so I'm going to take them out. Hopefully, I don't forget. Um, I bought myself the Chai Goo Click Set. Now, I'll put a link in the description. I was going to do a full review on it. That's why I wanted to try it out before I told you. And so I will do a full review on this set, but this is what it is. I bought it off of Amazon. Isn't that beautiful? I will go into further detail later on about everything that comes with it. But it looks like this. I bought this set and I made that hat with them. Yeah. And I am making a, another hat right now. <clears throat> okay, this yarn that I'm using on the second hat is the Irish Girl Yarn Ink. Ink. I'll put a link in the description to this. Um, that other yarn, that blue yarn, I got that from Knit Crate. So I don't know about how you can get it. I can put a link in the description to Knit Crate, but they give you yarn, you know, like Bella Coco does. So you get what you get. This I got in a trade and I, or a swap, and I forgot who gave it to me. So if you're watching this swap partner, I really like this yarn. 100% um, superwash merino wool, machine wash flat. It's in, it's called Springvale Sock Yarn. Intergalactic is the colorway, and that's what the label looks like. Um, this is what the ball looks like. I caked it up. It's not in a hank. Caked it up, kind of purplish with some brownish yellow and some dark blue hues and some real dark right there. Isn't that pretty? Um, but the thing that I was very excited about is because... I still have never learned how to knit a sock. And I had bought a bunch of sock yarn because I wanted to make um, socks. I've had a few people in my life tell me they would do it. And I hear people talk about the magic loop, which is different than the magic ring, or maybe it's a magic ring, where you pull your needle through and... And I've watched a couple videos and it just seems like it's way past my skill level. And then there's the gusset and the, the heel and all that jazz. It's just terrifying, quite frankly. But I found this pattern. It's called Sock Head Hat by Kelly McClure. Because up till now, all the hats I make are the Ross hat. 
Um, I did make one Lion Brand, like, Sesame Street hat, which is basic knit. That no, wasn't exciting. Um, this is a slouchy hat, and it's perfect for one skein of sock yarn. So I've been hoarding up, if you can sort of see in this cubby, a bunch of fancy sock yarns. So I said, well, you know what? Let's, let's try to make this hat. It's very clearly written. I'll show you the parts that, like, where she tells you about what you're going to need. It's only one page, so you're not going to get overwhelmed. This was free on Ravelry. I went to Ravelry. I loaded it into my library, and I printed off. Um, and it's called, it's from Boho Knit Patterns. I've got a lot of stuff to put in the description here, you guys. Um, so anyway, I started it. That's what I was going to tell you. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. It is, so with these click needles from Chai Gu, I have joined two eights. So they have this red um, cable. They have a red cable. And I joined two size eights to get to the 16 because it asked for a 16 inch cable. But I feel like this is so much bigger than my other ones. And uh, these are the needles. I'm working in the round right now. And you see it's very, very faint. I'm, I've been debating pulling it out, and rather than doing knit two, purl two, do knit four, purl four. Because I found that while I'm watching, whatever I'm watching while I'm doing this, sometimes I get off track and I accidentally do three. And it's messing up my pattern. So that is what I'm working on. When I'm done making this video and I've uploaded it, I'm going to keep um, working on this. Someone's calling me and watching a little true crime. Okay, now, what you all have been waiting 21 minutes for. I'm so sorry. What I am giving for the prize for the crochet along. I bought three. Remember, I'm going to choose three winners. Number one, I solely bought this stuff because the specific colors, because it's Valentine's Day. I got a crochet hook, purple crochet hook. It is not the kind of yarn or hook you would need for this yarn. I bought three of these. Pigment Fiber Lavender Days. I thought they go well together and they're kind of valentiney, pink, purple, red, right? Then I bought one of these. Well, three of them. Thank you. Excuse me. There we go. A pot holder or, you know, get something out of the oven. <clears throat> and it has hearts in it. It's Valentine's Day. <clears throat> and a candy bar. It's chocolate which I will put in a plastic bag in the prize. So that is what the prize is. Paul Holder Candy Hook Yarn. <coughs> three of them, three winners. See, the rest of them are over here. So that is what, the prize value is approximately $3 for 12, 12 plus 5, 17, $17. Yeah, they're cute. It's like, it goes together. Maddie, help me choose it. <coughs> you have till the 14th to turn in your gnome picture, gnome, um, your gnome, your gnomes to me. <laughs> and what I hope to do is with my kids, choose the three favorites. Each of them are going to help me choose one. Then I'm going to load all those pictures that you submitted via Facebook, email, or Instagram. And then I'm going to make the video where I tell you the three winners. And then after that, I'm going to upload all the video pictures so you can see all the gnomes. That's it. Um, so, yeah, that is a long video, you guys. Shopping trip and prize what you'll win. The gnome... The crochet along prize. Okay, well, I'm gonna shut this video off, pack up some of the stuff that I'm gonna send to my sister. I really need to clean my crafty corner. It's kind of a hot mess. I keep stacking things over here. It's gotten out of control since Christmas and I just can't bring it back in. Um, okay, you guys, thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.